We need you. What's going on? What's wrong? We're hungry. Where's our breakfast? <laughs> now, I know you couldn't be talking to me like that. Why don't you march your little narrow behind in there and make yourself a bowl of cereal? Cereal? You want hot food? Come on, woman. <laughs> oh, you gonna have hot food in just a minute. You gonna be able to fry an egg on your behind in a few seconds. Surprise! <laughs> 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 oh, my babies pulled a fast one on their mama, and you took your life in your own hands. <laughs> well, a brave volunteer was needed, mama, and I answered the call. Well, actually, we needed a good liar, and he was the most qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, birthday mama, it's time for your presents. Oh, my baby's just making a fuss over there, mama. Mama, you worth fussing over. And if we didn't fuss, we'd hear about it till Christmas. That's right, and you wouldn't get any gifts either. <laughs> this is our gift to you. A broom? A symbolic broom, Mama. It represents our commitment to clean this house from top to bottom. Oh, Charles, isn't this sweet? I don't know. Four kids, four dollar broom? You're not exactly throwing it around. <laughs> Well, this is a great gift. My children are going to take the load off their overworked mama. Thank you. Nick! Now, Thea, I know you had your heart set on going to that Motown Jubilee concert tonight, but I have to tell you, they were the toughest tickets in town. And you didn't get them? No, I didn't. But I did. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you know what, Thea? <laughs> children, your mama's going to the Motown Jubilee tonight. Smokey! Hey! <laughs> I can't understand why you want to see a bunch of has-beens anyway. Excuse me? Your Uncle Charles is one of those has-beens. Oh, I, I'm sorry, baby. Your Uncle Charles used to play with a group called Earl and the E-Tone. Oh, I was Earl. <laughs> There's a girl in my heart. Ooh. That's good, but oh. I can't believe in a few short hours. I'm going to be alone with Smokey Robinson. <laughs> oh, Lynette, how could you do this to me? What? Give me only one day to make myself a vision of loveliness for Smokey. <laughs> You're going to be in the middle of 20,000 people in the dark, and they all going to be looking at Smokey. Smokey going to be looking at me. <laughs> I'm going to be the bag. Oh, I was going to use that. Oh, no, child, Smokey ain't going to be looking at you. <laughs> OK, fine. But if we're going to do your hair, you better get started, because it's going to take at least three hours to dry. Yeah, but that's okay, because my kids are going to be cleaning up. I got plenty of time. I think I want big hair. <laughs> Smokey! <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Ricky. No? Uh, oh, Ricky, I can't come into the store today. Can't you get Loretta? It's my birthday. All right, but I'm just staying till 1 now, Ricky. Okay, bye. You have to work today? Yeah, a bunch of people came down with the flu. Girl, you got a lot to do then. But you can take my outfit to the cleaners, won't you? Right. Good. And then when I get home at 1, we can work on my hair. And it doesn't have to be that big. I can just serve Smokey a little attitude. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Watch out, Smokey. I've been working hard two jobs every day. Giving time to my children, showing them the way. With God on my side, keeping me in line. I don't worry about a thing, it's gonna be fine. We are so fine. We know you got it. Got my family. Your family got your home. Your life in the middle of the yard. Yeah. How could you do it on your own? No man at home, I must be strong. to the rescue and on my birthday, too. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday. You don't look a day over 21. Now get on register two. Oh, register two, Ricky. It's my favorite. You can forget about the flowers. <laughs> Ricky. No, no, you're not taking a break now, are you? I've got to. I'm not feeling too good. You see that woman? She's weak. She deserted her post. 
You're right, Ricky. When she comes from the ladies' room, let's shoot her. I feel that is Arthur Bagley's spirit. I don't want to hear I don't feel good or I have to leave early. It's my birthday. No matter what day it is, no matter how you feel, the Bagley spirit means you give it up for the company. Well, I'm giving it up till 1 o'clock because tonight I got to make myself beautiful for the sexiest man alive. Tonight? You're looking at him right now. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like a good belly laugh before you start a day's work. I'm talking about Smokey Robinson. Yeah, he's all right. But he doesn't sign your paychecks. Neither do you. How you doing? Because I'm feeling fine. That'll be two forty-six. dollars I'll just write you a check for a little bit more. Sure, go ahead. Fat free Twinkies. I sure miss the days when junk food lived up to its name. <laughs> Here. Ooh, $250. Do you have a check guarantee card? I did, but I used to have one of those eel skin wallets that demagnetizes credit cards. Ooh, I know how that is. Ooh, that eel must have slithered over into your bank account and demagnetized your money, girl. <laughs> the bank says it doesn't authorize this check. I can't cash it. Fine. I'll take my business elsewhere. Well, I don't know where you're gonna take it, because most businesses around here are gonna want money, and you're pretty much eeled out. <laughs> Look at all of this mess. Tell me about it. We'll be up in this attic for years. People will forget about us. Mama will sell the house, and we'll be working for strangers. <laughs> Come on, you guys. If we just roll up our sleeves and pull together, we can get this done in no time. Here's a way out. We'll tell Mama we were ready to clean the attic, and little James here got scared. I am not scared. And Jerome, I don't see any wicked old troll up here. Yeah, you've been telling him that. Yeah, but I'm not the one who started it. That's how you used to scare me, evil older brother. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> the troll in the attic. Yeah, that was mine. <laughs> Look at this old thing. Here's the first thing for the garbage. Hey, 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 don't throw that away. That's my blankie. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, you know, we, we better save this for Mama. You know how, uh... <laughs> You know how sentimental she gets over a kid's old stuff. <laughs> hey, this has my name on it here. Oh, look at all this. That was all my kid's stuff in here. Here's Bucky, my ducky. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional here. You know what? I bet we all have a box of stuff up here. I'm gonna look for mine. Me too. It's already found mine. <laughs> so pitiful. You get that huge box and I'm stuck with this little thing. Oh, Jerome. Hey, I was the first born. Second time around, this old hat. Ooh, look at mine. <laughs> well, you know, she's the first girl. Sugar and spice and everything nice. I'm sure if I was just another boy, that box would be mine. They didn't want to sport. Ooh, thank you so much. Ricky, I am history. Whoa, I hate to tell you this, Theo, but you're going to have to stay a little longer. When you say a little longer, how long is a little longer? Oh, about four or five hours. You said all I had to work is three hours, and now I trusted you. Now I'm telling you four or five more. Trust me again. Look, I called all the other branches this the weekend. They can't spare anyone. Ricky, I've got things to do. Your concert's tonight. You don't have to rehearse. You're the audience. I have to get ready. Ready? All you got to do is throw on a dress, slap some pot on your nose, and you're off to the races. Did Da Vinci throw paint at the canvas when he created the Mona Lisa? <laughs> I'm creating a work of art. Perfection takes time, Ricky. Well, I can't give you any time, so you're going to have to go as a work in progress. <laughs> Well, I'd like to continue this conversation, but I don't have a car phone. See ya. Hold it. Right there. Now, Theo, I'm your superior, and I'm issuing a direct order. Now, these are battlefield conditions. Besides, I ain't feeling too good. Oh, no, Ricky, not you, too. Yeah, my stomach's been doing flip-flops all day. Ricky, you can't get sick. I gotta go now. Oh, Lord, don't, don't, don't shake me. <laughs> okay, Ricky. I hate to hang you up. I need you. All right. 
I guess I could just have Lynette bring my clothes down here. Yeah. And I could just do an upsweep with my hair. And lose the attitude and go with the air of sophistication. Yeah, yeah, just go with that upsweep look. Yeah, that's the Bagley spirit. Ricky, I'm not going to miss this concert. No, you won't. If I just lay down for a couple of hours and I'll be all right and you can go, I promise. You better. Smokey, baby. They're putting obstacles in our way. <laughs> but I promise you, baby, mama's coming. <laughs> Look, here are my old PJs with the flapping back. With the airplanes? No way, those were mine. Uh, they started with me. <laughs> no wonder my box is so small. Nothing's really mine. I spent my formative years wearing stuff with your stains on it. <laughs> oh, look, y'all, here's some of Mama's old stuff. Oh, uh, it's Mama when she was a baby, just lying there with a little baby booty showing. <laughs> Should we be looking at this? Hey, hey, listen to this. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Armstrong, please be aware that Thea will be in detention tomorrow afternoon for joking around at class. Ooh, Mama got detention. <laughs> now, see, it's not my fault. I'm a victim of genetics. <laughs> hey, check this out, everybody. A Valentine card Daddy made for Mama. Thea, honey, you're so fine, I'd like to change your name to mine. Your last name, that is. Ha, ha. And it's a good thing Daddy was good looking, because the man had no rap. <laughs> oh, look, here's something on the back. Dear Thea, I know I said we should see other people, but when I saw you coming out of that movie with Lester Fry, I realized I made the biggest mistake of my life. I don't want to see other people. I just want to see you. If you feel the same way about me, meet me tonight at our special place. Love, and I do mean love, Jarvis. Do you think she went? <laughs> Ooh, look at you. Avert your glances, baby. This look is for Smokey's eyes only. How you feeling, Ricky? I'm feeling much better. About that concert. Oh, no, Ricky. My sister's gonna be here in five minutes, and when she gets here, we're Motown bound. I just wanted to say have a good time. Not that I can't use you, but you've already gone beyond the call of duty. Oh, yeah, and just one more thing. Happy birthday. Oh, Ricky, thank you. Dismissed. <laughs> hey, hold on. What's your name? Helen. Hi, Helen. My name is Thea. You look different. So do you. Have you put on weight since I last saw you? What do you mean? Seems like you've been to the gym. You sure have bulked up. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to get this rung up. Make sure they ring up that buffet that you have in your coat. Don't even try to run. I'm extremely swift, even in heels. Please believe me, I've never done anything like this before. I'm just trying to feed my kids. What do you do when your husband leaves you? You get laid off, and you have three hungry kids out in the car. Look, Helen, I know what you're going through. I've been there myself. And I'd like to tell you that things work out, but they don't always work out. You have to make them work out. I don't know where to start. Well, start by being a mother to your three children. You can't do that from a jail cell. I know you're right, but my kids haven't eaten since yesterday. Hold on, Helen. Ricky, come over here for a minute. What is it? <clears throat> this woman is down on her luck. Could we give her some food? What, from the market? You know we can't do that. Look, Ricky, Helen's got three hungry babies out in the car now. Can we give her a little something? She'll pay you back, won't you, Helen? From my first paycheck, Thea. Helen, Thea, what are you guys, partners? <laughs> no, we're mothers. And I've been where this woman is. Look, I'd like to help you, but there's nothing I can do. Well, there's something I can do. Listen up, people. I've got two prime tickets to the Motown Jubilee show tonight. Yeah, what you doing? The right thing. Listen, what am I bid for three pips, four tops, and five temptations? Come on, y'all. $50. For... 
$50, you can't get a pip or a top for $50. Temptations, I'll give you $60. $60, I'll give you nothing. Now, come on, people. Let's pace it up now. We gotta see this show tonight. $70. What are you doing? I'm just trying to help you out. $75. $80. I mean, you ain't gonna go, so you might as well stay here and cover for me. Oh, no, Mr. Man. We're both gonna be working here tonight. If we're back to 75. Smokey Robinson gonna be there. Yes, he is. And I'm telling you right now, nobody's gonna see that man for less than three figures. A hundred. Did I say low three? <laughs> 125. Yeah, I think I covered it. Shh, girl, I'm on a roll. We might get you a condo. Yeah. Hush. 125, I hit 150. Yeah. Here she comes. James, baby, what are you doing up so late? Excuse me, ma'am, could you please follow me? What is going on here? Well, when you told us you weren't going to the concert, we felt real bad. So I opened up the old e Tong musical treasure chest, dusted off some old routines, recruited some local talent. <laughs> and with some hard work, we put together a little Motown magic of our own. And to celebrate your birthday, the concert of your life. Starring Phil and the Tyrells. I'm still Earl. <laughs> One, two, three. <clears throat> On this day, 37 years ago, a bouncing bubble of brown sugar named Thea Armstrong was born. And right from the beginning, the word ran out that she was one force to be reckoned with. Three, four. What you want, baby, I got it. What you need, you know I got it. All I'm asking is for a little reason. school years, besides being a leading member of the debate team, she could be somewhat of a cut-up, which led to a brief stint in the detention hall. Somebody been going through my stuff. <laughs> then in her senior year, Thea met the man of her dreams, Jarvis Terrell. Like many young men on the verge of commitment, our daddy had cold feet. Young Jarvis found the air of his ways. And on that special night, their special place, to patch things up. Take it, Earl. Strong now, you really got a hold. 
hold on you me. Really got Jerome, a Jerome, hold this is my song. <laughs> you really got a hold on me. Denisha, this is why I left the E-tone. I love you and all I want you to do is just hold me. 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 Stop it. 